Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a CCNP switch quick quiz and a lab for you on HSRP. The question's on the board right now and I'll bring up the answers on the screen right after we go over the question. And then we'll use a live Cisco router or two uh, to check out these answers and a little bit of a lab work today as well. So let's hit this question first. Your HSRP config has elected router 3 is active and that router is using the HSRP default priority. Router 2 is then added to that same group and as a result router 2 becomes the HSRP active router. Router 2's priority is double that of R3. Which of the following statements is true? And as always it's the dreaded select all that apply. A. Router 2 is configured with a priority of 200. B. Router 2 is configured with a priority of 2. C. We could make R3 the active router again just by raising its priority. D. R3 could become the active router again simply by lowering its priority. E. A reload would be necessary in order for R3 to become the active router again. And again, if you think you know the answer, stick around. We've got some good lab work for you. And this is one of those questions I call three and one. You've got to know three different things about HSRP to get credit for the question. So we'll bring up the live equipment in just a moment. I want to take another moment to thank you for your fantastic support of our winter fund drive for the Central Virginia Food Bank. And right now on my CCP All-in-One Video Boot Camp, I've never done this before. If you head out there and enter the code FOODBANK, you get in for $99. That is less than $2 an hour for my world-class CCNP training, over 53 hours of content and just a fantastic course. I know you'll enjoy it. If you're working on the Switch, you want to stick with that, you can get into that one for $44 with the coupon code BULLDOG59. So thanks again for your fantastic support of this cause. Now let's go ahead and bring up the live equipment, and we're going to start with the fundamental verification and troubleshooting command for HSRP, and that is show standby. A lot of great information here, and here's router 3, and you'll note the default priority is 100. That's the first thing we needed to know to answer this question correctly. So the first right answer is R2 was configured with a priority of 200, if indeed R2's priority is double that of R3. Just for fun, we will go over to router 2, and run the same command and you can see that local state is active priority 200 so that is the correct answer there now how could we make router 3 the active router again could we should we raise its priority or lower its priority well we would have to raise it but you want to watch this because the keyword here is just let's go to router 3 and remember, this goes on the interface. Here are our choices. We're going to go with priority here. And we're going to set that to uh, 250. And what's going to happen immediately here? Nothing, right? Nothing's going to happen because the router has to be set to preempt overthrow lower priority designated routers. It's not going to do it by default just because you set the priority higher. So we can do that in one statement. Oops, wrong place there. But we're going to do it in two. We set the priority of one command and now we're just going to set preempt. And that's it. We're not going to set a delay. And you can see immediately the state changed and went from standby to active locally so we did not need to reboot anything and there shows standby and this is one of those things with the preempt command it's it's like the broadcast command on frame relay uh, if you got your ccna with me i know you finally you, you got tired of it at one point it's like so you're going to mention that broadcast thing one more time but it's so easy to miss when you're troubleshooting because uh, it's the config is not going to say hey you know you're missing the preempt command it's just going to show you what you entered so you've got to remember the preempt command on your own, otherwise it's just going to sit there. So let's go back to our choices, and again, A was correct, R2 is configured with a priority of 200. And that is really the only correct choice on the board, because it wasn't enough just to raise R3's priority as we just saw in the live equipment. 
we had to put the preempt command as well, and we definitely didn't have to reload, which we're really grateful for. Thank you so much for taking today's Switch Quick Quiz. I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for making TBA part of your CCNP success story.